So I'm gonna click it and just kind of drag this out of the way. And now we're gonna start making our lid. So there's a couple things you could do. You could come in here and draw a, you know, 100 by 70, you know, by shorter, um, like instead of 35 millimeters, just like five millimeters, and just move that to the top of the box. This is clearly not the exact same size, but just an example. We're not gonna do that, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that because we want our box top to be engraved and like personalized and customized to what uh, we're interested in, maybe put our name on it, for example. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna collapse the geometric panel and then I'm gonna go to shape generators and where it says image generator, I'm gonna drag that onto the work plane. So the image generator allows us to actually put a, engra an engraved picture or embossed picture on the object. So the first thing I need to do is to make this the correct size. So again, our box is 100 centimeters by 70, I'm sorry, 100 millimeters by 70 millimeters. So let me go ahead and drag it out, move this over. 100 by 70. And you're probably thinking, how are you going to get this, keep this lid on this box? It's going to slide right off. If you are thinking of that, good for you. If you are thinking ahead, that is actually our next video is how to keep this lid secure once you put it on top of the box. And that is definitely something to think about. All right. So I've got a 101 by 70.17. Let's see if I can back that down. To... I don't know why, but I cannot get it exactly at 70, but 70.17 is very close and it's okay if it overlaps just a tiny little bit. You don't want it to be too small. So I'm not gonna back it down to 69.17. I'm gonna leave it like that. And then right now it's 2.5 millimeters high. I'm gonna take that and let's just start it at five and see how our image looks. We may need to make it a little bit thicker. So when we drag the image generator onto the work plane, we got this these options over here. So you can actually drag a picture in here or choose one. So I'd already created a picture in Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R, uh, that I'm gonna use for this. And I'm gonna go grab that right now. If you have a picture you wanna use, uh, go ahead and get it. If you don't have one you want to use, just find one to use for an example for now. Okay, so I brought my image in. As you can see, it's the name Connor with a baseball bat and a baseball. And as you can see, the image generator now has that picture on the box lid. So you have some options if you need to adjust the picture. You can come in here and rotate the picture and then zoom in and out. I like the way mine looks, so I'm not going to touch it. Another thing you can do is adjust the smoothness. Now, I like the way mine looks, so I'm not going to mess with it. But if you were to drag this slider across, then it would smooth out some of the lines. Now, for, for me, for what this image, the baseball and the bat, it has some lines in it. I want to keep that. I think it's going to make it look more uh, real. So I can also uncheck emboss, which in, instead of being embossed, it's now going to engrave onto the the lid and that is actually what I want. So I'm going to leave it like this. So no embossed. I did not change the smoothness. I did not adjust it. I just put my picture in here. So it looks like my image generator changed sizes just a little bit when I put the image on there. So I'm going to drag that back out to close to 70. And if yours does that, you need to just kind of fix it. I think it just auto adjusts based on the image. All right, now the dilemma to go with 70.94 or 69.94. I'm going to say 69.94 is close enough to 70, and I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, so right now I'm at a four millimeter height. The higher I go, the, the more I can see that engraved in, image inside the box lid. So you don't want it to be too big because it'll look weird if your box lid is like really thick. But a good, you know, happy medium, definitely at least five. I'm going to just go to seven for mine. Okay, now if it does this, this is Tinkercad thinking. So in the top 
left corner, I saw the wheels turn in. That's Tinkercad thinking. And what a lot of people do is just start clicking because they think something messed up. But on things specifically, the image generator that take a little bit of processing power, you might see a little bit of a lag when you when you change things. And you can see down in the left corner, I got a message that says a problem occurred while trying to combine group shapes. Clearly, I didn't um, try to combine, but the computer is is processing this image. And that's why it took a minute. So it's fine. I don't need to worry about it. But my point is, don't get impatient. And the last thing I want to do is just kind of make sure this fits. On the lid, so I'm going to bring it up. I'm sorry, make sure it fits on the box. And that actually looks, once I get it down, like it'll be pretty good. Let's bring that down just a little bit. I'm choosing 35. You see that 35 right there. If you remember, our box is 35 millimeters high, so that should be sitting right on it. And I can see that I need to move it just a little bit. All right. That looks pretty good. Maybe move it back just a little bit. I'm just doing this just to make sure it fits. I don't really need this green box right here because I've got it on another one. Now, as I said earlier, some of you are already thinking, okay, you've got a lid, but it's not secured to your box. Yep, you're absolutely correct. So the next thing we need to do is to make a piece that will allow the lid to fit securely on the box.